Well, I would uh, say for three main reasons. First reason is comfort and security of patient. You only ask the patient to come once at your department. You only make an intrusion in his intimacy once and you also take chance with uh, urine infection because uh, with urodynamic and endoscopy there is a risk for infection. You combine only one urine culture and you combine so you have only one chance to get an infection. So altogether you increase patient comfort and safety. The second point is you get the opportunity to solve all the technical problem you may have when you have to insert the catheter. If there is difficulty and you don't have the endoscopy, you have to ask the patient to come back for an endoscopy to try to understand why there was a problem. If you have the endoscopy at once, you can go inside the urethra and solve the problem in many times or sometimes make a diagnosis, urethral stenosis for instance. Last point is more general. In functional urology, which is a vast domain, what we want is to understand this function. But to understand this function, we need also anatomical information. And today, endoscopy brings us irreplaceable anatomical information. So, with the combination of the two examination, we go faster to a sharp and actual diagnosis. Many patients indeed, women, men, and some specific kinds of patients that we see in, in functional urology. All the women who need a urodynamic examination need also an actual physical examination, which today would include an endoscopy. Any woman with urgency today uh, would have a very easy access to uh, an endoscopy to rule out uh, bladder tumor, CIS, or um, um, prosthesis extrusion in the bladder. For men um, with obstruction, of course, uh, there is a urodynamic uh, definition of obstruction, but the information of the shape of the prostate, the, pres the presence of uh, median lobe, the presence of uh, diverticulum, stones, add some information, some precious information to our diagnosis process. And eventually, the most complex patients, the neurogenic bladder, the transitional patient, the kids and adolescents that goes for adult urology after having many reconstructive surgery, all these patients, they need actual follow-up of this, all these reconstructed uh, lower urinary tract and for this purpose nothing better than combine and have at the same time uh, dysfunction and all the anatomical uh, subtle details. The benefit is obvious, it makes possible the combination of urodynamic and endoscopy. Of course this combination was possible before but it was uh, so often complicated because you need all the stuff for the uh, normal endoscopy with the um, cleaning of the endoscope, all the light and uh, screen and all this stuff which is usually not in the urodynamic lab, at least for many teams. So now with such a simple screen, plug and play device, it's so easy to make it everywhere. So I would say that we have been dreaming of for a long time and it makes it possible and simple.